Howdy YouTube, Esnix here, back from the dead I guess. Been a long time since I did a video. Figured it was uh, overdue for a little update of sorts. There's been a lot of updated ISOs to both of my projects, the Easy Arch project and the Esnix OS project. So we'll just go over a little bit of what's new I guess. And just to let you know, I'm still around, just not really paying much attention to Linux videos. Not the way I used to, certainly not making them the way I used to. And if you've been at my channel over the past couple of weeks, you'll notice that most of the old videos are gone. I decided to do a huge purge of almost all the old Linux content that I had done. Now, I left up videos on my Easy Arch and Esnix OS projects, so those are still there. I left up some assorted videos, the one on CTOS, some really old ones on QNX and Open Linux from Caldera version 1.3, things like that, things with uh, more historical value. Now, I've gotten a number of requests to, say, put the Slackware videos back up, and I really didn't see a point of doing that. Plus, I don't even have them anymore. Once I removed them from YouTube, they're gone. So, I don't keep a, a, uh, an archive of my previous videos. Uh, very few of them, actually. So, I don't see a point. I'm not... A collector or hoarder of my own material. I don't really collect stuff on YouTube or from YouTube per se either. I have a few things, some, some recipes, uh, music videos, things like that, but nothing computer related. A couple of car repair videos I saved could come in handy one day, things like that. I find myself watching, oh, music uh, concert videos, comedy, cooking videos, things like that, car videos, uh, Mortsky, and uh, Sleeper Dude, and what's the other big one I watch? Um, oh yeah, Puddin's Fab Shop, very entertaining stuff, not that I work on cars, but I just enjoy watching people who know what they're doing do their thing, so and talk about cars. Really haven't been much into Linux. I pop up occasionally on uh, forums like the uh, Zero Linux forum. I popped in there. I check to see what's going on in the Endeavor OS forums, the uh, Garuda forums, just to see if there's anything interesting. The Arch Labs forums. Arch Labs forums actually are probably the most interesting because they're not really focused on Arch. The people there are just having a good time. Arch Labs just seems to work. Their users just seem to have uh, good experience using Arch Labs or whatever Arch-based system they're using. Not a whole lot of complaining, not a whole lot of problem solving. They just know what they're doing. People on the uh, Endeavor OS forums and the Garuda forums just constantly bitching and moaning about problems. It's uh, kind of boring after a while. So I just don't do that. I, as I said, I check in once in a while just, just to see if there's anything interesting. Usually not. So let's get over to the Easy Arch project. Uh, over the past couple months, I think it's been since I've done a video, I have managed to rebuild, respin, re-upload new ISOs almost every week or two. So, and this week is no different. There's been a brand new kernel, a brand new system D version, a new Python version, a new GCC version, new glibc version, new glib2 version. Uh, new boost uh, version. So a lot of core libraries and components have been updated in Arch very recently over the past five days. 
So I sort of was waiting on enough of this building momentum of upgrades uh, within the Arch infrastructure before I released a new set of ISOs. And I also got a little bit of feedback from one of the users on my ticket system on OSDN.net about, oh, what was it about? It was about hibernation uh, kicking in even after they switched off the suspend feature in the KDE Plasma settings. Now, I have not experienced that problem after I switched off the suspend setting, but I did notice with the new version of KDE, uh, Plasma version 5.27.4, that all of a sudden, if my machine went into hibernation, it wouldn't come back out. So that's uh, not really something I could address. However, what I did do is default or switch the preference in Calamari's installer to go with the auto-generated MK in its cpio.com file rather than my pre configured, pre constructed uh, MK in its cpio.com file. So hopefully that will help because it, it will only include the resume hook if needed rather than my pre constructed file, which included it uh, by default. So if we go over to files, uh, another new thing. Uh, again, I dropped the GNOME ISO. GNOME is just a real pain in the ass, and I never enjoyed it. I never will enjoy it, and I never use it. I never will use it. I have gave up on it again. I'm sorry to anyone who liked the GNOME edition or liked GNOME. Uh, you're going to have to scratch your itch somewhere else. I'm just done. I was done before, and then I, they brought me back. And now I'm done again. So GNOME is gone. We have the five ISOs, XFCE, MATE, LXQT, KDE, and Cinnamon. So they're all up. You can see they were uploaded less than a day ago from filming of this video. And the project files are also updated as well. The new build templates, the new extra packages, the guides, uh, the scripts, the docs are all new or newish. Updated with any package adjustments that were needed, uh, new builds of Calamares and uh, console, CKB comp. Uh, we're done. Uh, new, well, all four extra packages were rebuilt uh, right before I spin up the ISOs. Anyway, just to make sure everything is built against the current uh, libraries and system versions uh, in the ISO. So all that's done. All that's good to go. I've been testing over the past two days, and I haven't really seen any problems. I haven't seen any problems. I've done another install on my uh, development machine with the last three sets of ISOs. Today was the ISO up for download. Reinstall that. No issues. Everything seems to be working fine. The Esnix OS project, Debian released... Um, Debian Buster 11.7. So I respun the Debian based Esnix OS spins up. The KDE and the Plasma spins are available. And they should be just fine. I probably won't revisit Debian Buster builds because the Debian Bookworm uh, development cycle is closing in on release. I assume this summer we're already at an RC2. If you go over to the Debian.org download servers, you can get the RC2 of the Bookworm Live and installer ISO images. So I'll allow you to figure out how to find that. Just a quick Google search. 
but uh, easy enough to do if you're interested. I have not played around with installing them yet. I'm waiting for a little more maturity because when I tested the RC1, the Debian installer was a little uh, unreliable, but it's still early in the process, so we're good there. By the time Debian's released, everything's usually rock solid. Not worried about that. We can take a look over at Easy Arch running. This is the XFCE desktop, obviously. If we go over to the home folder here, the Easy Archer folder has the usual suspects, the documentation, the guides, package build files, the relings, uh, the most current ones, uh, my scripts, the skeleton files used for the desktop. Uh, for the XFCE, Mate, and Cinnamon on the live ISOs. I am losing my cursor here, aren't I? Wow, that's interesting. Okay, I can still click on it, but the cursor is not very stable there. That's not very good. Just in this part of the screen. That's interesting. Just in the middle of the screen. Go low, it's fine. Go high, it's fine. Curious. Okay. Hopefully that's... Um, hmm. Don't know about that. I'll wait and see if there are any reports. I'm running this, obviously, in QEM, U, KVM, Vert Manager. Uh, I've also done tests in VirtualBox and on hardware, and this is the first time I'm noticing this mouse cursor issue. It just cuts out right there. I see it. Bye-bye. And then it picks up right here. That is a wide gap in the middle of the screen. Hmm. Well, the build templates are here, too. So there you go, folks. Oh, if we go over to the docs, let's take a look at a couple of these because there is a new one here. Uh, I did include a documentation file for how to install Vert Manager in Arch. Now, I got the idea from a post in the Endeavor OS forums, and I do credit that. down here. Wow, my cursor is really jumping. So you can see the full credit to the post and the author. What I've done is just reformat and slightly edit like the install packages step at the top and clean up the formatting of how to properly install Vert Manager in Arch, any Arch-based system, and also set up the permissions and the user groups and all that stuff. So hopefully that will help someone who wants to run Vert Manager in Arch, Easy Archer specifically. What else is here that's new? Not a whole lot. That's about it. So, hopefully this video will suffice for an update video. Let's go back to the web here. So, maybe it's just a VM thing uh, glitching, causing the mouse to be weird in that VM. I'll have to test it with other ISOs, uh, other resolutions. It could be a problem with that. So, I'll find out. And if anyone else experiences that problem, that's the first I've noticed it, and so far only on the XFC desktop. If you do notice any problems with your system staying in hibernation, not coming out, let me know that uh, somehow. Usually the OSDN, if you take a look over at the OSDN project, and you go up to Ticket, you can uh, create a ticket here. So submit new ticket right there.
and you can see the discussion that's been going on between me and this user regarding the hibernation issue uh, he or she is having. The OSDN page, project page, is also where I keep any notes, brief description. Under the project files is where I keep a change log. So just so we're clear here, uh, in the May 5th ISOs, KeePass XC has been added to the default applications. Calamari's module for init CPIO configuration has been given preference. I mentioned that. Console setup has seen a version bump, and all extra packages have been compiled against the latest Python and other system libraries. So all of this stuff I went over. But if you ever want to see the change log, as brief as it is, give you a little idea of what went into the uh, current build files and what will be in the current ISOs. As I said, I hope this will suffice for an update video. Hope everyone is staying safe, taking care of each other, and having fun. I will see you, or you will see me, at some point. Take care. Bye-bye, folks.